Hello students, welcome to Mr. Study and welcome to my class. Today, I am giving you some information related to the atomic structure. You know, what do you mean by atomic structure? Yes sir, the structure of an atom. That is a simple explanation. Atomic structure. The structure of an atom. We all know after the Dalton's atomic theory or we can say after the discovery of proton neutron or electron or many subatomic particles. Now, what we assume that is atoms are further divided, atoms can be divided further and these particles are called subatomic particles. Again, I am repeating these particles are called subatomic particles around except a neutron, proton, electron, we have around 26 subatomic particles and still counting like electron, meson, pi meson, so on. 26 subatomic particles. Many scientists has given the structure to uh, show the position of proton, neutron and electron in an atom. First, Thomson atomic model we all know. Atom is a positively charged sphere in which electrons are embedded like this. Yes sir, this is the Thomson atomic model, but it, it could not give the complete information related to what? Related to the exact location, exact position of electron and proton. Now, there come Rutherford alpha scattering, Rutherford atomic model. According to him, the positively charged that is the positive protons occupy a small as space within the atom and this a small region or space is called nucleus. That is Rutherford introduced the term nucleus the place where the total mass or you can say the maximum fraction of mass is occupied. This is called nucleus. Clear to you? Yes. Now wait for a moment. Sorry for the distance my friend. Now nucleus, what I am telling that is where the uh, entire mass or maximum fraction of mass are supposed to be concentrated is called the nucleus. That means to say nucleus is uh, uh, in nucleus there is a proton. What I am telling in nucleus there, is, there are proton. That time uh, neutrons was unavailable that is uh, the discovery was uh, the discovery of neutron was, was not take place. Now the thing is and the, uh, and the next one what I am telling the whole positive mass or uh, the protons are in the nucleus and electron are revolving around the nucleus. Electron are revolving around the nucleus. but According to the classical mechanics, when any particle revolves, then what will it will lose its energy and after some time the electron may fall in the nucleus which make the atom unstable. This drawback, this drawback was removed by the new theory that is called next Bohr's atomic model, Bohr's atomic model. Now in Bohr atomic model what was the thing that is within, uh, within an atom there is a nucleus where electron and protons that is the whole mass or you can say the maximum fraction of the mass are supposed to be concentrated and this place is called nuclear. Why I am take, why I am telling that is maximum fraction because in nuclear physics or in modern physics you will find that is uh, you will find that mass of electrons are also considered but in chemistry that is when we generally um, take when it consider the classical uh, mechanics we do not consider the small masses very very small masses but in modern physics we consider entire mass that is mass of proton electron and neutron that's why i am telling this okay in, uh, in nucleus there is a proton plus neutron is it clear to you yes proton plus neutron and 
in an atom there is a uh, there is uh, there is a nucleus and in nucleus there is a proton and neutron now around the uh, nucleus electrons revolve in a fixed orbit and each orbit has fixed energy due to this reason uh, when electron revolve around the nucleus it does not loses its energy that is he named this is like okay this is suppose this is a nucleus okay this is k cell this is l cell this is m cell and this is n cell k l m n these are called orbit these are called orbits or cell clear okay now each orbit has fixed electron how to find we know number of electron is equal to 2n square and n is equal to 1 2 3 dot 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 for k cell it is near to nucleus the value of n is equal to 1 that is k is equal to 2 electron k has maximum 2 electron now there comes n is equal to 2 second cell k l that is n is equal to 2 so l will have 8 electron because 2 n square 2 into 2 square 4 to the 8 now there come n is equal to 3 then m m has 18 electron now n is equal to 4 then uh, n has 32 electron 32 then n is equal to 5 then o has 50 electron then so on so what i'm telling that is we have the formula to find the number of electron in each orbit or in each cell k l m and o so on now cell are further divided into subcell cells are further divided into subcell or you can say sub orbits and sub orbits are further divided into small blocks that is called orbitals and we get the concept of orbital from Schrodinger wave equation i will discuss it later S orbitals then there comes we know orientation like one electron uh, clockwise and one electron anti clockwise the entire thing give the complete information about an electron and in next lecture in upcoming lecture we will discuss and this give rise to a theory called quantum numbers is it clear yes called quantum numbers now i'm going now the next one <sighs> subcell if k has two electron and n is equal to one that may that that is it will have only one subcell that is s which contain two electron now again what we have l has eight electron n is equal to two so it will have two subcell two s and p s has two electron and p has six electron now there comes k l m m m has 18 electron we know and n is equal to 3 so it will have three subcell three sub orbit s p d this is a simple technique s has two electron p has six electron and d has 10 electron am i right my friend yes sir you are absolutely right here <coughs> now k l m now n n has we know 32 electron n is equal to 4 so it will have 4 subcell s p d and f and again what we have s has 2 electron 